What are we under right now? Gotham Harbor. Justice League is one of the hottest movies out right now. It does it deliver in the theaters, though. Joining us now is our movie critic, Lanita Cook, with her review about that and other buzzworthy movies, Justice League. Did you love it or did you <laughs> not love it? Okay, so this is one of those movies that I feel like no matter what I say, people are going to go out and see it and they're going to have a good time. I, too, had fun but not everything is perfect. Right. Right. Like what? Like, does, is it, does, does Ben Affleck do a good job when he is Batman or did it, did it? Well, I like the way that Ben Affleck or Batman is utilized mm -hmm. in the movie. He, so we take a lot of time setting up the individual storylines of each new hero, mm -hmm. the Justice League. And Batman is used to kind of introduce each character and then integrate their storylines into one okay. big story. Um, for me, I felt like it would have been more powerful if Wonder Woman had been the one to do that. Gal Gadot. G that's it? right, that's or right. Or Gal Gadot is how she says oh, it. Oh, it, because it's Israeli, it's, it's not French. So she calls herself Gal Gadot. But anyway, she's great in Wonder Woman. Does it translate to this movie? I think she's the best part of this movie. Uh, she remains, what resonates about this character for me is she remains very soft and hmm. kind and sweet but fierce like mm -hmm. her fighting style is my favorite like she is a beast right 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 but she's also very kind she's the one that um, she has a soul yeah she has a soul she keeps everybody grounded and centered and she does sound like the star uh, yeah and the there thing. was there was one moment where Again, she made me tear up. It was just interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. During Justice League. Uh, the next movie we have is Murder on the Orient Express, uh -huh. classic murder mystery, Agatha Christie. That's right. What'd you think of this one? I had a wonderful time. I felt like every beat was energized. I think uh, it's been getting mixed reviews mm -hmm. as well, and I think the reason is uh, melodrama. It is a traditional melodrama where the characters are kind of what we call tropes or stereotypes. Mm -hmm. I like a traditional mel melodrama, so I had a good time. What kind of audience, though, is going to go to this? Because you have kids and young people who want to see the flashes and explosions and the bang boom. This is like a classic mm -hmm. murder mystery. Mm -hmm. I think people who just like storytelling, anybody who is a fan of the Agatha Christie novel, yeah. and anybody who likes good theater, I think will like this. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Would kids stay interested, or is it a little too slow moving? I took my teenagers with me, uh -huh. and they had a good time. I don't think it's for little kids, really. I don't think it will really hold the, their attention. We do have a third movie that is for kids and families, mm -hmm. Wonder, mm -hmm. based on the stunning novel by R.J. Palacio about a, a little boy that has a profound facial anomaly. Mm -hmm. Julia Roberts and Owen Wilson play the parents. How was that movie? Does it deliver? Uh, this was my most emotional movie going experience. There's something for everybody. It's about um, uh, he's going to school for the first mm -hmm. time. So it's also for kids in the school going experience. He has an older sister who is also in school and she's um, she's dealing with being in a family where her world is revolved around this little brother, mm -hmm. with this challenge. Um, and then the parents, they have to navigate that world as well. And then the friends, the kids at school have to accept him. And so what I think it all boils down to is when we want to be seen, being pitted against when we're afraid to be seen. That's interesting, because yeah. the little boy who, the, the, the novel Augie, he always wears this um, Star Wars helmet out. Mm -hmm. it's, Halloween's his favorite holiday because he can wear his mask, and so he takes it off for the first time mm -hmm. when he goes to the mainstream school. That's right. Um, did you feel like the movie pandered at all, or did it really stay true to just telling the emotional story and letting the audience feel what they were meant to feel? I, I think um, it's a good, good way to get a premise out there to really say that it's about this kid with this anomaly. But that's not what it's really about. Right. It's about how we will compensate when we are missing something in our lives we will do what we need to do to get what we need and in this case for the majority of them it's to be acknowledged right you know and it's it's also about the difference between being ordinary and extraordinary and how both 
with both. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. I loved it. I can't I loved wait it. to see that movie, Wonder. It sounds phenomenal. Lanita Cook, thank you so much. Always great to have your expertise. Thank you.